Morning, this is Arlen with today's Photoshop Elements tip. You know, last week we had our Photoshop group uh, out here in Hawaii and uh, we were doing some uh, photo retouching, manipulation, and uh, one of the people in the group said, Hey, I want to upload this photo to an online service and then print four by six pictures but I hate how long it takes to upload. So what we did was we started to go through this save for web dialog. And uh, yeah, this image exceeds the sites of save for web. That's okay. And then we, we proceeded to talk about some good settings for uh, these photos. So 4x6, I'm going to just drop this down to 1800 pixels and apply that. And then we want this to be a JPEG. And a high quality JPEG, that's probably good. When you're looking at this on the, on the web, you can't really tell. But I can't tell the difference really between the original on this side and the optimized JPEG on this side. And see the original is almost seven megabytes. That's gonna take a long time to upload to a service. But the optimized JPEG is only 522 kilobytes. So this would be much faster to upload to one of those online printing services. And um, you know, I can't really tell the difference. So as I drag around the image, I can't tell the difference between the original and the optimized and you, you won't be able to tell either. So that's what we did for his pictures. We optimized one picture and then he said, hey, can I do this with all of my pictures at once? And my first response was, oh no, batch processing is something reserved for the full version of Photoshop. You can't do this in Photoshop Elements 9. Boy was I wrong. So <laughs> being the all-knowing guru that I am, I went to Google and I searched Photoshop Elements batch processing. And lo and behold, you can batch process in Photoshop Elements. So I want to show you that today. You just come up here and click File and process multiple files. Okay. If you don't see all of these uh, options, you may not be in uh, full edit mode. But I'm here in full edit mode. I'm usually in full edit mode. And I'm just going to go File, Process Multiple Files. Okay. I've already got some, some uh, default values filled in because I've done this once already. But uh, there are a lot of options here. You can do some quick fixing, watermark labels, all kinds of stuff. But just for your basic convert, upload, print, um, you just need a few things. The first is the source. Click Browse, and you just find on your computer the folder where all of your pictures live that you want to convert. Then you choose a destination, some place you want the folders to go after they've been converted. Okay. You can change the file names if you like. That's sometimes helpful. Um, I'm resizing the images to an image width of 1800 pixels at a resolution of 300. Okay. So why 1800? Why 300 DPI? Well, 300 DPI is a pretty good resolution for um, most print jobs. And uh, the width of the picture is six inches. Remember, we're printing a four by six picture. So six times 300 is 1800. And that's how I got this width here. If you wanted to print something larger, like an eight by 10, then uh, you can change the math. And maybe this value would be 3000. Okay, so that's good. I'm gonna convert the file type to a JPEG high quality, just like we did in the Save for Web dialog box. And I'm just, I'm gonna click OK. Now, 
Elements is going to think a little bit, but it's going to process each of my pictures one after another, and then it's done. If you've got a lot of pictures or you're doing a lot of fancy things, Photoshop Elements will take a while to process each picture, but you don't have to sit here and watch it process. Just click it, go get a drink, come back a little while later, and all of your photos are done. So let me pop over to the Finder. Oh, I don't have a dialog open. So this folder is on my desktop. It's called China Photoshop Elements Batch. I'm going to look at it in this view. Expand this out. You can see the five photos that I had. They're different um, sizes, but they're all about between 3 megabytes and the smallest is 1.4 megabytes. Those are going to take a while to upload to your photo printing service. But the optimized pictures I've put in this folder called for upload. If I just open that, you can see here these pictures are much, much smaller. 582 is the largest here, down to about 371 kilobytes. So, very optimized pictures. Now let me just um, click on one and I'll hit the space bar to give you a quick look on my Mac so I can very quickly view pictures. Here's the optimized version and there's the original version. Now on this video you can't really tell even though the video might be in HD but you can't tell the, the difference in quality. I can't tell the difference looking at my monitor. So here's another one. This one is not a very good image, but it's original and, and excuse me, the optimize. And can't tell the difference. Here's another one. And here's the optimized. No change at all. So these pictures optimized will print perfectly fine. If you're a quality nut, and uh, you don't want to optimize before you upload to the print service, no problem. You don't need to run this, this process. But for my friend who wanted to kind of save some time, optimize his photos, this is a great process for him. So I hope you've enjoyed today's tip. I'm Arlen Nagata. You can find me on the web. And uh, if you're ever in Hawaii, stop by our Photoshop group or um, drop by and Grab a cup of coffee with me. Aloha.